Greetings. Welcome back to Clayton County Public Schools academic year 2023 through 2024. I am Jessie Goree, the proud board chair of the Clayton County Board of Education, representing District 3. Students, as we embark upon a new school year, I want to wish you a very successful experience where you will excel academically and always display your very best behavior. Education is the passport to your future. You are a precious part of the village, which includes your parents, teachers, peers, administrators, and anyone that supports your attaining a world-class education. It takes the whole village to raise the child. Again, I welcome you back to Clayton County Public Schools, where we are building a better tomorrow today. Hello, my name is Benjamin Straker, Vice Chair and School Board Member District 9. Welcome back to school after a wonderful break. Attend your classes with a fresh mind. Enjoy the first day back at school. It's a new beginning, so never stop trying. Class of 2024, embrace this school year. Make it your best year. And remember, memories are what you make it. Remember, the results of hard work is always sweet. Have the best school year ever. Greetings staff and scholars. My name is Jasmine Bowles and I represent District 1 on the Board of Education and I am thrilled to welcome you back for another fantastic year. Have a great day, have an incredible week, and let's make this year the best school year ever. Hi, my name is Mark Christmas, District 2, Clayton County Public Schools. I'd like to welcome back the faculty, staff, administrator, and all the school staff the custodians, the cafeteria workers. But most importantly, I'd like to welcome back our scholars. It's gonna be a great educational year this year. We're so proud of you. Summer is now over and you will get back to your studies and do a great job this year. We are so proud to have you back into Clayton County Public Schools. We wish you a great success this year. Hello everyone, I am Dr. D. Haney with the Clayton County Board of Education, District 5. Students, teachers, faculty, staff, administrators, welcome back to a great year. We're gonna have a fantastic year. We're all about learning, pushing forward, and making sure that we continue to excel in all that we do. I want to welcome you all back. I want you all to be safe, have a productive year, and just know that the Clayton County Board of Education is here for you. Again, I'm Dr. D. Haney, Clayton County Board of Education, District 5. Welcome back. Hello, I'm Mary Baker from the Board of Education District 6, and I wanted to take a moment to wish you a welcome back to this great new year, a year full of learning, great experiences, and hopefully some fun. So again, welcome back and have a great year. Greetings, I am Joy Tellis Cooper, District 8 School Board member. I'm excited as we are gearing up for another great school year. Always remember, hard work yields much success. So soar to your highest heights and do your very best. Welcome back students, staff, teachers, parents, and all of the partners in education. May this be your best year yet and blessings to each of you for all that you do. Thank you. Greetings everyone on behalf of our Clayton County Board of Education and administrative leadership of Clayton County Public Schools. I am extremely excited to welcome all of you to the 2023-2024 school year. As you are aware, I have been officially affirmed as your new Superintendent Chief Educational Officer for Clayton County Public Schools. For over 30 years, I've served in a variety of roles to include teaching and learning right here in Clayton County. With great humility and enthusiasm, I am looking forward to working alongside our amazing 7,000 employees and this great community to positively impact the lives of more than 50,000 scholars. I have also called upon district leaders and all stakeholders to guide this movement of building a better tomorrow today. I firmly believe that we were all chosen to be here at this present time to lead, learn, teach, and ignite change together. We could have been born at another time in history. However, we were chosen to impact this generation, which will impact generations to come, and we have 
everything we need to be successful. As we enter the school year, my message is simple and grounded in five priorities. These priorities continue to shape our approach as we lead into the new school year. My first priority is cultivating a school coach safety culture. Feeling safe is paramount to successful teaching and learning. To accomplish this, we have increased safety and security personnel to troubleshoot as needed any preventive measures for the 2023-24 school year. In addition to the continued use of weapon detection devices, our proactive student discipline measures, and mandated clear book bags, the district has purchased golf carts to secure campus per perimeters at all times. There will be an increased presence of district and school personnel during school hours, mornings, lunch, and dismissals to actively monitor hallways during transition periods at all schools. We have approached our safety plan with the thought that it is the responsibility of all school stakeholders and partners in education to ensure that safety and discipline are prioritized to promote the con con continuity of teaching and learning. My second priority focuses on increasing academic achievement, which is our core business. We are trusted to prepare our scholars for the world that awaits them. This year, we're emphasizing back to the basics in order to streamline what we are asking of our educators. BASIC stands for building academic success through intentional classroom strategies. This does not mean that we're going backwards by any means. In fact, we're focusing on being future forward by ensuring the fundamentals of effective teaching and learning are implemented in every classroom. Our Division of Teaching and Learning and Strategic Improvement has put together an instructional framework that includes practical yet powerful tools for effective lesson planning. The framework will be used to teach, support, and monitor high quality instruction for all of our students. To our parents and community stakeholders, you are our most valued partners in education. We thank you for trusting us to prepare your children for the world that awaits them and getting back to the basics. These are some things that we would like for our partners in education to do. Build partnerships with schools. Reinforce and support learning and literacy beyond the classroom. Communicate and stay connected with school staff. Take advantage of all resources and supports available in the school system. And most importantly, promote positive messaging about the school district and community at large. Students, we're asking you to do a few things. Be present every day and build positive relationships with your peers. Act responsibly. Seek and ask for support and initiate learning. Collaborate with others and stay resilient and persistent. We're embracing the notion that it takes all hands on deck to increase academic achievement among our students at accelerated rates. Third priority is to maintain financial stability. It is important that the taxpayers of Clayton County know that their Board of Education and the leadership of the school district are constantly working to maintain a fiscally sound operation that gets the most out of every tax dollar collected. It is because of this great stewardship that we are financially able to lower the millage rate for the first time in 16 years. We will continue to seek ways to maintain our fiscal responsibility while benefiting our county's residents. Next, my fourth priority is to strengthen our organizational structure. During the second semester of the 2022-2023 school year and continuing into the, this school year, I have called upon members of this staff to step outside of their custom roles and accept the charge of other leadership opportunities. I believe these charges, these changes, would greatly enhance our efforts to build a better tomorrow today for our students and our communities. 
And as of today, approximately 400 new teachers have decided to join our team and be greater with Clayton County Public Schools. I know they are going to do a great job and we will continue to meet and hear from them throughout the school year so that we can get in front of any concerns that they are, are experiencing. Our goal is to retain 100% of our teachers. We must work in collaboration to advocate and support our educators as they are instrumental to ensuring our students are successfully prepared for the future. My fifth priority is to enhance our infrastructure and new facilities. I want to graciously thank nearly 80% of the registered voters in Clayton County who cast their ballots during the March 2023 special elections for educational special purpose local option sales tax seven, SPLOS, East Plus seven. 36 schools will either be modernized or rebuilt. The robust facilities plan focuses on pre-kindergarten facilities, new STEM-based schools, our transportation system and technology infrastructure and athletic facility upgrades that will establish the district as the regional leader. The availability of these uh, dollars provided through our uh, residents foresight at the ballot box have allowed our district to build and maintain school facilities without placing the full responsibility directly on the county's taxpayers. In closing, I encourage you to think about what I have shared today that clearly demonstrates our commitment to building a better tomorrow today. We must have high expectation of success in order for the five priorities to become a reality. A quote by former president Barack Obama reminds us that a good education is no longer just a pathway to opportunity, it is a prerequisite. I want to emphasize that in addition to our educators, our families, partners in education and communities throughout Clayton County are charged with the responsibility of sure, ensuring our students receive these essential tools to a brighter future as your superintendent. I am issuing a charge to all of our stakeholders for the 2023-2024 school year. Set high expectations, do the necessary critical work, and most importantly, get involved and remain deeply committed to building a better tomorrow today. Thank you in advance. I have no doubt with your continued support, we will have, we will have a safe and successful 2023-2024 school year. Thank you.